So here's how to sell templates on Canva in the Philippines. But before we start, you can try out Canva Pro with my link in the description. Canva is a versatile online graphic design platform used to create a wide variety of visual content. As you can see, we're currently in the Canva website. First off, let's check out their pricing plans. They offer Canva Free, Canva Pro, and Canva Teams. You can also check out their monthly and yearly plans on this page. And if you go over to education over here, you will get to see more options. Now, let's click on login on the top right. And if you don't have an account, you can sign up. As you can see, we're currently in the Canva dashboard. On this page, you will get to see all your recent designs and other options you can use. Let's click on create a design on the top left corner. Let's select social media and use the search bar on the top and type in poster. After that, choose your desired one and you'll be taken to the editor page. Once you're here, on the left panel, you will get to see all the available templates you can choose from. So go through the options and choose your desired one. After selecting it, you'll be able to choose and select each and every element on this template, such as this date. So you can edit it and make your desired changes according to your preference. Make sure that it fits the Philippines market and is appealing to the general population of the Philippines. This way, select different parts of the template and make your desired changes. You can edit the existing text and also change the images if you want. As an example, I will select this text and click on the font on the top. After that, you can scroll through the options on the left panel and choose your desired font. Then, you can drag the text around to make it fit your desired position. So once you're done, click on Share on the top right corner. After that, click on Download. Now choose your desired file type from these options. I will go with PNG which is suggested. Then click on Download. Then the file will start downloading onto your computer or device. So give it some time for it to get downloaded. And now it's done. It will say completed and you'll be able to open the file on your PC. After that, let's head over to Etsy.com. Once you're here, sign in to your account. I will click on continue with Google over here and choose my Google account and click on continue. Then you'll be signed in to your Etsy account. Now, we're logged in to the account. Over here, click on your account on the top and click on Sell on Etsy. After that, you need to click on Get Started on this page. You will then be taken to the next page. Here, click on Let's Do This. Then select what brings you to Etsy and click on Next. Then choose if there's anything you'd like help with. After selecting, click on Next. Now, click on Start Your Shop. So once you're here on this page, you need to set your shop preferences. So choose your language from these options. After that, select your desired country. In this case, you can put it as Philippines. Then set your shop currency. Once you're done, click on Save and Continue. On this section, you need to put a name for your shop. So go ahead and type in your desired name. Keep in mind that the name has to be unique. And this one is already taken. So you can choose one from the options below. After that, click on Save and Continue. So over here on the next page, you need to set a category for your item. I will type in Poster Templates. And then you can choose from the options below. Let's select Digital Prints. Then set digital files as your product type. After that, set who made it and what is it. Then select when it was made. Scroll down further and select how it was made. And if you have production partners, you can also add a production partner right over here. Just put in all of their details and click on Save. But in this case, I do not have a production partner, so I will click on Cancel but you can fill in all of these options if you have one. Now, let's click on Save and Continue. So on the next page, you can add more details about your product. 
starting with the title. So over here, put in the desired title for your product. For now, I will type in something random. After that, scroll down and you can add photos and videos of your product. So let's add the image that we downloaded from Canva. Just drag and drop it over here and it will be uploaded onto Etsy. As you can see, it now has been uploaded. And on the thumbnail section, you can adjust the thumbnail according to your preference. You can drag it around or use the slider below. And once you're done, click on Apply. After that, your newly set thumbnail will load up on this page. You can preview it here and then scroll down further. Here, you can add digital files for your product. So choose the one that you want to add and upload it. After that, you need to put in a description about your product. Make sure to put in all the relevant details for your potential customers to know more about your product. After that, you can put in a shopping cart summary, which is optional. Also, you can add personalization if you want. Moving on, we have price and inventory. Here, you can set the price for your product and also the quantity that's available. And if you want, you can also add SKU if you want. So click on Add SKU and type in the SKU of your product. Then we have Variations, which is unavailable for digital products. After that, there's Tags and Attributes. Here, you can add the relevant tags and attributes based on these various sections available. Go through them and set them up according to your preference and product. You can also set dimensions right over here but for digital products that may not be necessary. Then we have tags. Here, you can type in the relevant tags for your product and click on add or press enter. This way, you can add multiple tags. And on the material section, you can type in the relevant materials. So once you're done filling it up, scroll down further and fill in any other required information. On the shop section, you can add a specific section where you want to add this item in your shop. And once you're done, click on Save and Continue. And as you can see, your listing has been confirmed. You can check it out from here and click on Add More Listings on the bottom right if you want. On this page, you'll be able to add more items or click on Save and Continue on the bottom. After that, you need to set why you'd get paid on Etsy. So go through this page and add the relevant information on how you want to get paid. You need to put in the country of residence, such as the Philippines, your name, and also your address. And then you need to add your bank information like bank name, IBAN, SWIFT, PIC, etc. Once you're done, just click on Save and Continue. And you'll be ready to start selling your templates in the Philippines. And that's it. Following these steps, you can easily start selling templates on Canva Philippines.